We are currently on top of the Geico parking garage. Have never actually parked up here before. Not this far up. No, not all the way at the top. Kind of strange though, because there were plenty of spots available down below, but they told everybody to come up top. But we are going to attend another concert here at the Kia Center. And this time we are going to see Jimmy Eat World and yeah. also Fallout Boy. Fallout Boy. Now, the reason why we are making this video, one, is just to document us going to another concert to hear it. But number two would be we actually went with like the cheapest tickets possible. Mm -hmm. We bought tickets over at the side of the stage. They were $55 a piece. That's the cheapest ones you could get because it is a limited view seat. We wanted to see if it's worth it to go cheap and see a concert versus going some of the seats that we've gone before to see a concert. And it was last minute. And it was last minute. Now, by the time you pay for parking and by the time all the fees hit you, I think they're roughly around $85 a ticket. But other seats that are not limited view are usually around 150 ish per person. Mm -hmm. So it is considerably cheaper than some of the other seats. We don't know a lot of Jimmy Eat World songs. I do know, we both know two, and one of them is special to me because my dad and I would play Guitar Hero and play that song. And then of course, Fall Out Boy. We know quite a bit more songs of Fall Out Boy. And we're really here just to have a good time, show you the seats, and just say we went to another concert. Now, as far as the traffic coming in, it is currently 6.04. We left our house at five. It did take about 55 minutes to get here when it normally is supposed to take 30, but it is a Friday night and we all know how I-4 is on a Friday night right at rush hour. Bad. I do believe that was what caused the issue. I don't think it was anything to do with the concert. It was not like the Andrea Bocelli concert that we went to that was a disaster getting parked. Mm -hmm. And we still have 30 minutes before the show starts. So we'll go through security, show you our seats, show as much of the concert as we can and let you know what we think. Let's go check it out. Future Alex and Timber here. It's after the concert, but we wanted to throw in a little warning on this video. And that is if you are sensitive to bright lights, flashing lights and loud noises, we would recommend skipping past the concert section of this video because there were bright lights loud noises indoor fireworks indoor fireworks pyrotechnics yeah so if you're lasers. very very sensitive to that skip over the concert portion or don't watch it at all it's okay. but we have a good outro so just come back for other videos yeah or watch the outro it was a good one all right like and subscribe and comment <laughs> all right now for the video Here's what the parking garage looks like at the very top of the Geico garage here at the Kia Center. And um, I'll go ahead and put in some footage of us driving in. You can see it did get very busy right starting out. But then um, as we got closer to the Geico garage, it really, there wasn't many people. So I would say that was just your normal traffic. Now, as always, there is like the bag checks and stuff. So Timber didn't bring a bag because it's just easier not to. And then tickets are on our phone through Ticketmaster or through Apple Wallet. At the very top of the garage, you have the option to take the elevator or to take the stairs. Just remember bridge to Kia Center is on level five. Here are the rules for bags. I know we were asked that. So there's the rules, prohibited items there. And honestly, security is not bad today at all that was about the easiest security line we have ever been through here at the kia center we are sitting in section 206 row 7 seats 1 and 2 so we definitely need to go upstairs over here they have a huge line for merch doubt we'll be getting any merch today but they do have plenty of shirts and a bunch of stuff that is an extremely long line. We're gonna head up to our nosebleeds and check it out. Yeah, the lines for the merch are so long, but they do have a lot of choices. Some of the most shirts I've seen at a concert. Of course, you can either take the escalator 
or the elevator up to the higher tier. They did pass out these little eight balls to hold up to your phone's flashlight during fake out to show the boys some love. One of these days, maybe we can go to that level and show you around. Again, we are 206, so it should be just around the corner. You see, this is 214, 212. Should be on up here. We've done plenty of these tours to show you like the drinks and food items because they're basically the same at every single one of them. So the popcorn and M&Ms, I think the total was like $14. And the two waters total was $10. Not every food place is open here either, but um, there are like two 206 sections just because based on your seat. And since we are one and two, I think we're down at this farther 206, which should be through here. They just said we can't go that way, even though that was our section and our seat. So that was weird. We're gonna be over this way, down here, I think. So could have came in that way, I guess, because no one's working there, but um, we're right, oh, we're right here. Here is a look at the seats. The stage is for sure blocked, but they do have a screen here you can watch. You can actually see what's going on backstage. So I would say as of now, if it's a concert that you just want to attend, not necessarily care about seeing it, just listening to it, kind of like we want to with this one. It's good to go cheap, but if you want to actually see the concert, I would probably go toward maybe... Yeah, spend more money. Spend more money, maybe head somewhere over there because yeah, you're really not gonna be able to see the stage. One perk about being over here is it is not very crowded. You can see plenty of room. When we have set other places, it's been like shoulder to shoulder. Man, they are getting ready to start up right away. Yeah, right now there's not a lot of people in here. It'll fill up. Check. Check. Testing. So this must be the actual opener opener. One thing we've noticed is the sound echoes a little bit from these seats. Yeah, so the first thing I would say is the volume doesn't really carry up here too well because it's all going that way. Um, but also, I would say it's pretty cool when you have someone like that, that this is their first like time doing a big show like this, the first time being in an arena. It's really awesome to see people like chasing their dreams. As the night goes on, I think the crowd level will increase. We have Jimmy Eat World coming up and then Fallout Boy after that. A perk being over here though is you can see people go on stage. Now something else I want to make note of is it is pretty chilly in here. I bet as more people come in it won't be as bad but right now it is pretty chilly. But setting up here by yourself you have plenty of leg room which is nice. It also gives you a good view of what the screen looks like at the side. That says you're watching a band called The Main. I love when they do this. It's funny, he was just talking about MySpace. How many of us have had MySpace? All right, they just said Jimmy World is coming on next. And you can see it has filled up quite a bit since the start.
last but not least, Fall Out Boy, and it is a packed house.
It just said instead of going off stage, they're just gonna do the encore now. leave a little early wow they are still going hard all right we are heading to the geico garage before the official concert's over because it will be a madhouse if not it is currently 11 40. Mm -hmm. we are back home mm -hmm. and we even left the concert a smidgen early just on the last song we left that was at what time five yeah do the math seven hours oh, i'm exhausted we will be pretty brief here, but a few things. One, I do not want to take away from the performance that Fall Out Boy did. Mm -hmm. Was one of the best performances I've ever seen as far as they had, obviously you saw fireworks. Pyrotechnics. Fire. Big dogs. Faces. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and they were very grateful to the fans and to the workers who have to stay before and after to take down the stage, which I used to do that. So I've been there before. And my, lots family, of people yeah. in my family have done that. It's not an easy job. That's, mm -hmm. that's for sure. They were fantastic. They did a great job. I don't know all their songs, but the songs that I do know, they did great. Mm -hmm. Jimmy World, only know a couple songs did great though the middle is my absolute favorite song they sing mm -hmm. that is my guitar hero song that is my favorite guitar hero song and the other two i knew nothing about of the I, two other bands I, of the yeah sorry of the two other bands i didn't think there'd be three openers tonight it's a little bit long it was it was long very long now for the bad part i'm going to give a rating out of five on what I personally thought of those seats. And I give it a zero. I would never, <laughs> ever, 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 even if it was the last thing ever, sit there again. I wouldn't do it. Reason why, it echoed. You couldn't hear them. People are rude. There's no ushers to tell them to like sit down. Well, and standing up wasn't even an issue. It just, people were not courteous and not, didn't have just common yeah, sense. Yeah, like we literally had somebody, there was a 
family in front of us that would scoot over to the side because they knew we were trying to see, so they would dance over to the side. I appreciate and most that. most people in our section were not standing yeah. up. There was some lady that came out of nowhere and literally stood in front of the family that was in front of us and blocked our view. And I was like, okay, I'll give her a song because, you know, maybe she just wants to see it. She, nope, she was standing there the whole time. So I literally had to tap on her and say, excuse me, like, we can't see. Yeah. And those aren't your seats. So if you're in a section that has an usher, that won't happen. But I guess no one really cares about you over at the side. So would never do that again. Um, give it a zero. View, you couldn't see anything. Literally could they not did see. have the screens, which was nice. Sweet. At least. Watch it on YouTube next time because, <laughs> like, what's the point? I hated it. I hated the seats. Show was great. I'm glad we went. But <laughs> this video was centered around. You're getting brutal honesty from Alex right yeah, now. Yeah, I hated it. I hated the seats. I would never get them again. I was going to give it a one because of legroom. When we were first going with those openers, no one was sitting next to us. I could sprawl out. By the end of the day, there was no one sitting right next to you loud kid in front of you that wouldn't be quiet the entire show and not just i get people have a good time i i know people are gonna sing and, and do all of that and stand up and that's not a problem this kid was just unnecessarily ah, screeching and ah, yeah it was bad. and jumping over the seat and jumping on the seat yeah. and it was a bit much yeah this is much. this is not brief at all i apologize um yeah <laughs> It's got to let it out. Yeah. And you said you didn't mind the seats so much. I would rather go to a concert and sit in terrible seats than not go to a concert. I don't think I could do that again. Ah, all right. Well, so what would you give those seats out of five? A one. <laughs> I mean, I would still go. Trash seats. Like, honestly, <laughs> if that's all you can afford, I guess do it. But right. I would recommend maybe like just saving up some more and trying to get more in the like past the the speakers because none of the speakers face you so it's all going out that way and it echoes and you don't you can't hear it clearly oh wow. and we were lucky enough i will say fallout boy did acknowledge us yep. sitting up on the sides but you might have somebody that just forgets you're even there yeah and, and they don't even then you're done for yeah so anyway that was our review i don't want to take anything away from fallout boy they did amazing seats are trash we did leave early, which saved us probably 30 minutes getting out. Um, but the only thing is Fall Out Boy just kept like playing songs. Like They were supposed to be done play. at 1030, and it was 11, and they were still playing it. We heard the ones we wanted to hear, so we're like, we got to go. Let's just bail before everybody else does. Bailed. It saved well, us 30 minutes. And if you remember, if you watched the Andrea Bocelli concert video, I just was kind of having flashbacks from that Um Leaving. Sitting there. So, yeah. yeah. So, we just didn't want to deal with that tonight. Towards the end, it might have got choppy. <laughs> My phone died. Timber's phone ran out of storage. We had nothing left. <laughs> nothing. I tell you what. Ugh. But uh, we're here. We're home. We're home. Very tired. It's almost midnight. <laughs> Glad we went. It's all about going. <laughs> All about going and making the memories, but definitely... Terrible seats. Phone yeah. died. People were rude. Glad we went. Yeah. Won't ever set in those seats again. I'm just telling you that right now. So. Performance was great. I enjoyed it. And yeah. 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 Thank you for sticking with us on this video. We appreciate it. We always like going and doing stuff. Glad we went and did it. Mm -hmm. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.